in the scene during the 1950s as one of the leaders of the Nation of Islam. And he took the world by storm by creating this presence of black power. And he became one of the biggest civil rights leaders of all time during the 1960s. So today we're gonna paint him and we're gonna pay homage to him and bring him to life on the page. So grab your tea, your wine, your coffee, and let's get into it. Malcolm X birth. Hey guys, how are you? Happy Black History Month. Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. I need to bring my mic down a little bit further so you guys can hear me. Like, oh my God. Hi guys. And welcome, welcome to our first stream of the year of 2023 and happy Black History Month. And if you don't celebrate Black History Month, what are you doing with your life? Nah, just playing, but yeah, it's a, an exciting time and I'm so happy to be back. And I definitely wanted to come through and show some love for the for this month. But let's get started. All the supplies that I'm using is already on the screen already and some goodies and some stuff is gonna be down in the description box below so that you can be able to do things. And um yeah. <laughs> I don't I like I'm so giddy, I don't even know what to do with myself. You know what I mean? I have no idea what to even do with myself at this point. <laughs> but yeah, happy hump day. We're back and better than ever. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy New Year and all the things. I know I've been MIA um, because some very tragic things have been going on in my life over the last year, but since 2022. But I'm happy to be back and thank you for being patient with me. And loving on me during this horrific time in my life. But yeah. Um we're gonna be we're gonna be using acrylics today. Usually I end up using um I don't know, freaking uh gouache. <laughs> but today we're gonna be using uh some actual acrylic. I have my Master Sins wet palette. I don't think I listed this, but I think I will list it for you guys so you could be able to see it in the end. I also have, voila, see, I came prepared today, honey. Usually you guys know I don't be coming prepared. <laughs> Usually you know I do not come prepared. I be like putting out the paint, but you know what? It's hard to put out a paint when, you know, because acrylic dries so quickly. So it's really, really hard to put out any sort of paint ahead of time. So this is what it ends up being a lot of the time where I have to do it this way. Let me move my Shein activities. Okay. And so I put out all of these different colors. I'm just going to go over it really, really quickly. But you don't necessarily have to use acrylic. You can use anything that you want to use for today's project. It doesn't really matter. Um. Hopefully you guys are actually hearing me too. Hold on, let me make sure you can actually hear me. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should be able to hear me. You should be. Okay. I want to make sure the levels is going good. <laughs> I haven't been live in months, you guys, so bear with me. But yeah, welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to all the new people out there that have joined the channel. Thank you for joining me for um today's live stream. So I have my different brushes. I, we already have our paint kind of laid out. We want we know what we want to do with that. Um, I have some brushes off to the side here. At least I think I did. Yeah, I do have some brushes off to the side. Yeah, there they are. They're like buried, buried underneath there. I'm gonna put some of these in here. Um, let me remove these cords. Sorry if y'all can hear all that, but I have to remove these cords so they're not in my way. And 
I'm just going to put it in the water and kind of get it together and get it prepped and all the things. I cannot see the chat. So if you guys are chatting. Now, for today's project, I wanted to do something new. Lately, I've been on this pop art kit or kick, so to speak. So I'm going to be actually doing... Um, I'm going to put down like a light layer of what I want. And I wanted to, I wanted to turn this into a pop art portrait type of thing. I mean, because he's an influential man and you know, he's part of pop culture, right? What makes sense. It makes so much sense. Right. I don't know what's. Hold on. I need to make sure I'm even live. Yeah, I am live. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. I just wanted to make sure I was live and everything was going good. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get my flat brush out. This is a Princeton brush, but you can use any brush that you want to use. I'm also going to put some time stamps above. For those of you that just want to skip around and you don't want to like hear me ramble about yada yada yada, right? So let me go ahead. And I'm gonna get some of this like uh lime green paint. It's such a fun color, right? I'm gonna get some of this lime green paint. Let me turn this up a little bit. Yeah, I can actually hear me. And it's really transparent. You can see as I'm kind of dragging it out, it's really, 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 really transparent. I'm going to get some of this lime green paint. And I'm going to use a short brush. Getting that. And I'm just going to like work it through my brush a little bit. And we're going to use this as like a background kind of foundation type of thing. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so happy to be here. And I'm going to use this. This is going to be our foundation. As a matter of fact, this is a little too, too small. I'm using 11 by 14. So let me see if I can get a bigger brush. Do I have anything bigger than this? I don't know if I have anything bigger than that. I don't think I do. I guess we're going to be working with... All right, this is a little more loose and goose. And we're just going to, like, plop that on, yeah? Loose and goose because this is uh I'm gonna go right over his hair with it on top of it too. Because it's transparent. So actually you could actually do that and be able to see what's actually going on at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to see what's going on. And the great thing about this challenge is I will be back. We will be doing this challenge all month long. And for those of you that love my flower series, I will still be back doing the flower series as well. We're going to still continue the 100 flower challenge. You can still use the hashtag 100 flower challenge if you want to use it. So I'm using this lime green paint. It looks crazy, but you guys don't have to do that. Like, if you want to attempt this portrait, you guys don't have to do that, right? You can do anything that you feel like doing. Anything that makes sense to you, pretty much. Any color, any underpainting that kind of makes sense to you. Now, usually you guys know I like to spray my palette. 
But this time I did not spray my palette because I have the um Stay Wet palette already here. So yeah. I don't know why my chat is not showing up. It's weird. I have to go on my phone to see my chat. It's like so weird. So you can see, like, even though this is a pretty cool paint, it's like so neon, like lime greeny. Right? It's not very, uh, you know, however you guys can hear that. Not very opaque, you know? And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over his face with it, his hair. As long as you can still see your, your outline of your drawing, you should be good, right? And this is just to get, like, a base of kind of what I want, and I'm still right. I can still see the drawing. I'm not gonna go over the glasses, I'm gonna avoid the glasses and just to get like a layer of something down to kill the white of the canvas. It seems really bright on the screen, but I promise you. I wanted to do some really fun kind of like colors and da 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 da. Um, and I thought that would be a really fun kind of like underpainting because I never do these sort of fun colors on my stuff. And lately I've been really kind of trying to get into, um, Getting more loose, getting more, you know, in touch with who I am as an artist. Da 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 da, ba 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 ba, ba ba ting, the tings, right? So I'm not gonna mess with his face too much. I just wanted to get like a little bit of color. You could probably do this right here. I've seen people do stuff like this, right? And you just get like a whole weird kind of underpainting and you can have um like and that way you can have like a very interesting underbelly of whatever and it, it'll end up coming through in your um end result so that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And look at it. It looks crazy. <laughs> it looks so crazy in the in the um big spectrum of things. It looks really, really crazy. And I'm gonna take away some of these banners. I don't know why this banner is so I mean, It's ridiculous. Why is it so big? Put it up there. Let's just put it up there. I thought that would be enough for this, but I guess this is a pretty... It's not a large painting, but it's, it's kind of large a little bit. It is kind of large a little bit. You know what? I want to, like, we can't really play no music. Like, so many things that have changed on YouTube since the last time I kind of been on here. So, you can't really play no music. You can't really, um, now they like, oh, we don't want you cursing. Nobody should be cursing. Not that I did a lot of cursing on here anyway, but still, it's like, damn. <laughs> you couldn't give me the option to do a little bit of cursing? Like, for real. <laughs> Like can I can I curse a little bit? Like for real. Again, we're not I'm not gonna go over the glasses or the eyes with this green color. 
because I want that to be pretty clear and distinct in the portrait. So I'm not going to do that. I just put out a little more green paint. Another reason I like this palette because I could be able to put it in the the uh in the shot so you guys could be able to see what I'm painting and what I'm doing, y'all. Yeah. And see, I can still see clearly underneath what the painting is supposed to look like. I can still see the drawing underneath. Now, if you're using like a... So don't use a watercolor pencil or anything weird to do this. Because then it'll just turn out really, really weird. Very nice, very nice. So, what have you guys been up to? How are you doing? What's been going on? Catch me up. If you happen to be watching this pun the replay, you can catch me up in the comments and let me know. Hashtag replay crew, right? And because I haven't been like live in a while, so YouTube is not really going to push this that much right now. Just trying to figure out, like, what are you doing? You're live now? Hmm. See, I'm kind of avoiding the glasses, avoiding that whole thing. I'm avoiding that whole thing. I still want to preserve most of my drawing and stuff like that. The whole thing, baby. Hey, Leo lady. How are you, honey? Great to see you painting, Danielle. I can tell this is going to be a great portrait. Thank you so much. Sorry I didn't see your comment. I just seen it. Something going on in my chat. It's not popping up properly. But thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I'm happy you're here. Keep me company. Hopefully you're painting. How are you feeling? Catch me up. How's your day? How's your year been? Because I know I haven't talked to a lot of you guys in quite some time. So what's been going on? Kind of catch me up and let me know what's good. So the only reason I'm keeping the glasses clear because the glasses, if you look at the portrait, if you look at the reference photo, the glasses are pretty clear. Like they're super duper clear, right? There's no like... You know, there's no tint or anything to it. So I'm just going to preserve the white of the canvas to kind of convey that. And you'll see what I'm talking about later on, but it just makes sense that I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? It just makes total sense. Now, now that we kind of got like somewhat of an underpainting done on what we need to do, we're going to go ahead and dry this. Because it needs to be dried, and I'm going to cover up my palette. I don't even know where my palette is. I'm going to cover it up because I don't want it to dry out while the dryer is on. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, I'm so glad you guys are here. All right, I'm going to mute you while I blow dry. Or maybe I'll just leave the blow dry on. Blow dry. <laughs> Somebody I know does that.
All right. Boom. And we're back and better than ever. But yo, <laughs> while this thing cools down, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And we'll answer all the questions that you may have. I don't really want, you don't want to paint on top of like the hot canvas because then everything will just start melting and carrying on. So I'm just going to wait for it to kind of cool down, but it is dry. If it seems cool to the touch, that means it's not dry. Yeah. It says, I'm looking forward to getting some painting done soon. This already looks stunning. The eyes. Yes, I love that. I love that. I can't wait to see what you guys have going on. Again, you guys, if you want to paint along with me or you happen to do it at a different time, maybe you pun the replay, you can always submit your art submissions in our art submission channel on Discord. Links is in the bio for all of that stuff. So it seems pretty dry, which is good. We want it to be super dry because we don't want this stuff to kind of lift up. Um, I'm going to be reading your chat from my phone. That's sitting on my left-hand side. That's sitting on my left-hand side. Okay, let me open this back up. Now is when you can kind of, as things start to heat up in your room, your whatever, your studio, now is when you can get your mister out. I have... um. My new mister that I bought. Um, yeah. So I bought a lot of little knickknacks. I've had this like palette thing for a while, but um, I never used to use it because it used to make my paint really watery for some reason. But then I realized I need to be able to preserve my paint since I do a lot of painting and like now I'm just gonna miss this. This mister is like a godsend. They usually use this for hair, but hey. A lot of people, a lot of artists are using this right now. So here we go. Okay. Um, so anyway, I you, you want to mist your paint. This palette is like a godsend because it kind of saves you from having to do the preparation. And like say you're painting and you want to say, boom, I need to take a break. I need to go make dinner for the family. I need to do whatever. You could cover it up. Boom. You're, you're, and then you come back after you make dinner. And then your paint is still fresh and everything's kind of copacetic, yeah? Everything's copacetic. All right, so since I want this portrait to be kind of fun because I want us to have fun, I want it to be like, you know, this year, this is the year of more like exploring, fun, finding things that set us on fire and civil rights movement, Black History Month, Portraits and flowers set me on fire, right? So this, uh, we're going to try to make this portrait as fun as possible. And usually I don't even do this. Y'all know I love to do like realism and whatever, whatever. So I'm going to grab my brush. I don't even know why I keep using this brush because I need to use something else because it's too long. It's getting in my way. Getting in my way. Um, I don't think I have a regular round brush. I don't know. I have a thousand brushes and I have no clue where any of them are. So here we are. <laughs> here we are. All right. You can do a lot of fun things with the hair. I'm going to start with his hair. And then we're going to work our ways to the eyes and then we place those. We're going to work our way from here to here. We're going to work our way down pretty much. And I'm right handed. So I'm always going to work from left to right, from top to bottom. And if, you know, if you're left-handed, you may want to work, you know, left to right, whatever, whatever, right? Yeah. All right. So well, let's do his hair a little bit. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit of burnt umbra. That's already pretty dark, but it's still going to be kind of transparent. I don't really care if it mixes in with that green because it'll just, you know, blend in with everything else or whatever. And the good thing about this palette is you guys could be able to actually see what I'm doing, like me mixing, instead of me having to be like, oh, so now reach over. I got a little bit of blue. Sorry, I didn't explain that. A little bit of blue. The more blue you add, the darker it'll get. Add a little bit of this uh, burnt sienna to warm it up. Warm it up. Um... And 
just keep adding as much as you feel like you need to add. Because the hair is brown. I mean, you don't have to make it brown. Again, this is supposed to be a pop art portrait, right? We're doing a stylized portrait. So you don't have to make it brown. But for, you know, for my brain, I'm going to make it dark or whatever. I mean, you can add whatever you want. I was going to add purple because you guys know I love purple. I don't know why I keep hitting this camera. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to being here anymore. I'm like, hmm. hmm. So then we're going to, I'm just like, we want to have like some interesting textures, right? Let me hold this down so you don't be getting these weird sounds. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to add, as we get to the base of the hair, I'm going to add like more blues, da 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 da, bam bam bam, whatever, whatever, right? Uh, right, and you can add like all of these things, right? Add different colors, add some purples, some browns, all the things, right? It's funny, you can't really see it's not showing up as good as it is in um like in person so sorry about that it would just looks like dark on dark but you know what i'm saying it's camera the camera wants to do what it wants to do so half of it is it looks really dark i know it does you guys but it is blue i promise you <laughs> I'm going to add a little white so you can actually see what I'm talking about, which is going to actually make it gray. I don't know why I did that. That, that was a rookie mistake. Yay. And let's add a little bit of blue. And so exciting. Yay. All right. So then that lightened it up. You see that? So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. And now you can see the actual blue but it's way lighter in person i promise you it is and i'm doing this just to add texture to his hair All right if you're loving it so far don't forget to hit that like button you guys it helps me out Especially, I haven't been on in a long time. So, so basically, YouTube is like, okay, well, did you retire? <laughs> they like, hello, did you retire? Are you still here, ma'am? Like, yeah, I'm still here. I had kind of a mental breakdown, but I'm still here. Started at the bottom, and we still here, okay? Uh, okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of purple, and I'm going to put that over here because I like that purple action, yeah? Again, these are my colors. You guys do not have to do that. You could just make it straight up black if you don't like it like that. Make it straight up black, baby. If you don't like it. But I do like it, so... And you guys know... um. Magenta is my favorite color. Am I mumbling? Yeah, I'm mumbling. Huh? This is when you can really get artsy, yeah? Like, pop art is so fun. Beyond realism and stuff like that, um, pop art surrealism is, like, one of my favorite genres. What are you guys' favorite genres of um of art? I mean, if you guys are in the group on Facebook or, like, on Discord, for the most part, you guys know my taste when it comes to art because I'm always posting, like, some weird, um, <laughs> I'm always posting, like, some weird, like, art from, like, uh, one of my favorite artists. 
Mark Ryder. He's a surrealism artist. And I'm in a lot of texture. Let me hold this down so you guys don't hear that. So here we go. And you'll be able to see that texture. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let me see. Yeah. So you can see it. It's glowing, right? It's like purple, blues, black. It looks dark when you lay it down, but it's really not that dark. That way I have a little bit of texture. As, it's, as it dries, it's going to flatten out anyway, so it's not going to have all that texture. If you really wanted to have some texture, you could take... Um, I don't even know what you call it. Palette knife. Palette knife, right? I know a lot of people who do palette knife art. I was actually watching a movie. Side note. You guys know I get, I get into these tangents. Squirrel, right? I was watching a movie where there was this 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 art movie about this black guy and it was lo and they was like located in Baltimore. It was a really good love story. I don't know if you guys know what movie I'm talking about. Either way, he was an artist and his whole art was just palette knife. He didn't do anything with brush. So I was like really impressed by that and then he was like super fine. <laughs> It didn't hurt. He was easy on the eyes. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay. Mmm. All right, sis. We see you. All right. I need to try that. But I realized palette knife is not my thing. So. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what I realized. Yeah. Sorry you had a hard time, Danielle. I hope things are getting easier for you now. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all of you that have reached out to me and have really showed me love during this hard time in my life. You know, when you lose somebody, you know, especially a parent, it feels like like a piece of you have has died. You know what I mean? And you never really know how it feels until you see it. Like, I used to see people, you know. I'm going to wash my brush out totally. Sorry, guys. I used to see people, like, um, they would say, you know. Um, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to stop this story for a minute. We need to dry. I need that hair to be dry so I can move on to the next step. And I need to cover this up on top of it. Cover it up, baby. All right, there we go. Blow drying. All right, and we're back. So you see it's not fully dry, right? Because the little pieces of, like, texture and, like, thickness that we did is not fully dry. But it's fine enough where I could actually lay my hand down and not get it stuck into the paint, right? So, yeah. um, It's weird because when you lose somebody, it's like... Uh, you know, oh, I used to see people, you know, with they, I mean, so many people have lost so many things over the last few years with the pandemic and stuff like that. But, um, you know, when you see it, when you see other people going through that, you're like, you feel like 
you feel bad, but then you don't really know, no, until you feel it. Like, who feels it knows it. Um, As my dad used to say, who feels it knows it, right? So I didn't know, no, until I lost somebody and then I realized that. Like somebody had, you know, taken a piece of you and carved it out of your head, carved it out of your body. But yeah, we're making it. And hopefully, you know, I can make him proud and we'll be blowing through. And I'm, you know, this, this year I'll be back on the channel full time going hard. Like we'll be doing a few live streams a week, doing a lot of stuff. So I'm throwing myself at you guys to, to take away all of the hardness and things that I've been feeling lately, but I'm getting better. We're, we're feeling a lot better than we was though, but thank you guys. I appreciate that. All right. So um, his eyes is pretty dark in, in the, the photo or whatever. Um, but I don't know whether I want to make him that way or not, but I guess we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Again, this is a pop-out art portrait, so we don't really, like, accuracy be damned, right? We don't need to be accurate. We don't need, we're going to throw perfectionism out the window. We're not doing any of that stuff. Um, hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, good. You can see it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But the thing is, when you go through something as hard as we've been through over the last couple of months... It teaches you so many lessons. You learn about yourself. You learn about what you can handle, what you can endure, um, the type of person that you really are. You also learn about, you know, um, your friend group and, like, who's around you, who really cares, who doesn't. So I, I've, been, I've learned many lessons, you guys. We've learned. But yeah, this year I'm definitely on my art, pop art thing. I want to be able to um, basically do some more fun projects where I'm not like hyper, kind of hyper focused on realism per se. I'm just going and doing the um the eyebrows, you guys. He had like a slight eyebrow right there. I'm gonna go in and do it. We're gonna do it. Yes, we are. Oh yeah. Um yeah, but I mean, name of the game is all about fun. So if you guys want some, you want to see uh, a new fun project, just put it down in the comments and let me know. Um, I'm still like I haven't fully flushed out the full schedule for February. But we're gonna be doing portraits and some. We're gonna sprinkle some flowers in there in between, but for the most part, we're gonna be doing Black History portraits for the most of February. To celebrate. Also, you guys, if you want to donate to the movement, the movement is still going on. It's not the Black Lives Matter um thing link. It's the it's another organization that I actually believe in and I love. And I know that they're out there doing their work and you know the people are on the front lines doing what they gotta do, honey. Okay. So go ahead and donate to that. Um, if you don't, if you can spare a two cents, you know? But yeah, but we have a, a jam-packed lineup that I want to do. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to actually whip out good old Posca pin. Yeah, I know how I feel about that. 
And if you don't have a Posca pin, which if you've been following me for a long time, if you don't have a Posca pin, what are you doing with your life? Because you guys know I always add Posca pins in everything that I do. So get yourself a little stack of Posca pins. And I think they're like, I don't even know how much they cost at this point, but you know what I'm talking about. They, they're they pretty cheap. They're pretty affordable on, on Amazon. And they're so convenient, guys. This is why I do it because I'm just lazy. I don't want I don't want to deal with uh <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to deal with uh having to paint it myself. And especially if you're like if you're shaky with your hand, it's hard for you to hold a brush or something like that. Posca pins. Or oh, the bee's knees, baby. The bee's knees, okay? I was like, I'm just going to make this black for now. Black. Make it black for now. Uh, I'm going to make it black for now. And I'll just add some highlights later. And the good thing is, the fun thing about um, pop art is, I shouldn't have did that, but yeah. Um, the good thing about pop art is that you can be really graphic with it. You can, like, experiment and do all of these, like, fun things with pop art. That you wouldn't normally do. You know what I mean? Do all these fun things that you would not normally do. When I look back at, like... Some of the art that I really, really like and stuff like that. I'm going to leave a little gap right there. I need to actually put a highlight there. Use that wing. Some of the art that I really, really loved. Oh, you guys can't see that. My hand is in the way. Let me not put the hand in the way. Somebody commented, like, <laughs> they was like, well, your hand, your fat hand is always in the way. Okay, excuse me. What you want me to do? <laughs> I can't help but have a fat hand. Like, hello? All right, we're going to leave the little wing right there. We're going to leave, like, little gaps of stuff there. My damn nose is running. These kids, man, they like. You can't have no kids, man. You be sick all the goddamn time. <laughs> all the time you will be sick. You hear me? I mean, I done had RSV, LBB. I don't even know how many diseases I done got from this boy this year. I done had Belbid, Belbid Debo. <laughs> I've had every acronym known to man, for real. Hey, how are you? Yes, come through. How are you, family? How's it been going? Hey, 755 is in the his house. Welcome, family. Happy Black History Month, you guys. I'm so glad you could come through. Makes me happy. <clears throat> While my nose is running, I don't God knows I've been infected by something. That's what happens when you have kids. <laughs> 
Yes, how are you? Miss you too. Accessory, what is popping? Yes. When are you going live? Um, 755 Media, what's going on? When are you going live? Make sure you guys go check out 755 Media. She is definitely what's up the bee's knees. And she's always a big supporter of the channel since day one. That's day one right there, right? All right. Let's put... I'm going to put a little bit of... Like darkness right here. But I'm not going to make this like a traditional thing. Uh, I'm just putting my little like whatever's in here. Uh, his little creases and stuff. And make sure y'all share this video. Because you know your girl is getting back out there. Share the video. Love it. Like it. All the things. Again, you can use the Posca pen too. Like I I'm I was tempted to use the Posca pen. <laughs> but no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, let's put something on the face. Let's get started with the face really quickly. Let me see. What did I do? Hmm. You're live tonight. I'm going to show it. 755 Central Time. What's it, What time is that for me? I don't know. Where are you at again? Um, painting a portrait blindfolded. You painting a portrait blindfolded, girl. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Just to see what's going on. All right, so we're going to do... Um, I got my flat brush because I wanted to do like a flat thing. And I'm just going to add, like, different colors to the face. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of white just to get a smidge of white in there. And a little bit of that and a little bit of this, yeah? And we're going to put a little bit here. You gotta do it blindfolded. Good lord, girl. That is funny. <laughs> now, you guys don't have to use this combination of colors. This is just what I want to use. Because, I mean, it looks fun to do it. And I wanted to get like that textured look or whatever. And gonna put a little bit over here. Again, it's not my traditional type of thing. And then, you know what? Let me get rid of this brush because it's gonna drive me crazy and I keep hitting my camera. Got a smaller brush. And you get a little bit here, right? Just to have like different tones in the face. Because a different tone is going to give you the same like thing, right? It's going to give you the same illusion that you're kind of looking for, right? It's going to give you the same illusion if you're doing like a realistic portrait. Like, that's wild. That's suspicious. <laughs> now, I'm 
9 p.m. your time. Oh, 9 p.m. my time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's cool because I'll be up playing The Sims <laughs> and creating more stuff. Now, the new schedule, I gotta put the new schedule up, you guys. Um, would you like to got would you guys like to see me do a collaboration with 755 Media? Uh I would love to know. Put it down below and let me see. Who would want that? I'm just putting different colors, like, you know, just mixing, matching these colors together. Um, I don't want to put too dark of a color in there, huh? Because that'll just be too much. Now, if you add... Let me put some other stuff underneath those. If you add the color like reddish, whatever, if you add like this reddish color to it <clears throat> with with the green, that's just gonna make it brown. So try not to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of blue, but I need to lighten it totally up because I don't want it to make his face dark. So we're going to add it. Hmm. That's not really giving. That's not giving. But it's fine. You can have a little bit in there just to give it like, you know, some interest. Make it interesting. Just to make it interesting. All right, let me turn on my fan because laggy. I thought my thing had turned off. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm coming. All right, cool. And we're back. <laughs> okay, I had to turn everything up. Now, you don't have to add the different colors that I'm adding. You can kind of do whatever makes sense to you.
And see, it's coming together. Yay. Very exciting. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add a little bit of this light color inside of here. Remember, this is like where the glasses is. So we just want you just want to be able to see his glasses pretty much. I mean, you want to see his skin through the glasses. That's it. That's why I'm getting this little brush. The two little brush. Like, can you guys believe it's been, I don't even know, like 60, 70 years since he was alive and we're still talking about him today? It's crazy. Right? It's like, and I was just thinking about that, like the impact that these guys made these guys and gals made or whatever, you just think about, like, in your lifetime, you, like, wish and hope that you, too, can make that sort of um, impact on people's lives and stuff. You know? That's the one thing that you kind of hope for. Whatever. Oop. I'm not trying to lose my paint. Eee. And I was saying to myself, like, what sort of impact am I making? You know? I've been really doing, like, some serious soul searching and like evaluating and stuff like that over the last couple of months. What am I doing to really make an impact for real? That's kind of what I was thinking about. Like what what have you done? What have you done for me lately? Mm. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. My mom loves that song, boy. Like, I don't know. What, what have you done for me lately? Did I stop explaining what I'm doing? <laughs> I think I did. Uh, we're just playing, right? We're playing... We're adding different colors. We're doing things that is going to bring interest to the portrait. That's pretty much what we're after at this point, right? Because when I was looking at, like I said, when I was watching this show, or watching this movie with this, because uh, usually I, I was one of those people where I was like, okay, I don't like impressionists. 
impressionistic type of paintings where it like implies something or it looks like it's something da da da. All right, we getting are we getting laggy? Sorry, we getting a little bit of lag, you guys. They're doing some sort of I don't know what they're doing out there, but here we are. Uh-oh, did we, like, clip off here? What happened? <clears throat> Hello? Oh, no. It's, like, decided to... Oh, I thought we had, like... We was, like, done here. I was like, what happened? What happened? It was, like, lagging like crazy. Like, what happened to you? Like, not you bugging out like that. What happened? If it cuts off and does some craziness, I'll just log back in. I'll pop back in. Okay, cool. Now it's back. I don't, I don't understand what the hell that was about. Why was I just doing that? All right, I added a little bit of white. I mean, you guys can see that anyway. And I added some white to it. But yeah, like I was saying, I always been those type, that type that I really didn't care for like the impressionistic type of art, da 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 da, right? And I'll be like, I don't really like that, da 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 da. But as I was watching this particular movie, and I was kind of watching what impact, uh, you know, this guy's art had, and how. The impressionistic style of it all just make it super duper interesting. It made it really, really interesting, right? And I was like, wow, 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 wow. You know, it was something I had never really thought about before. I used to just be like, mm, I don't really like how that looks, blah, blah, blah. But when I actually, actually opened my mind, and it, it was like when they showed the painting, the painting got really, really. When they showed it up close, it looked like a mess, right? And I think that's what it was. Since I'm like a perfectionist on the low, I've never wanted to do like impressionistic paintings because they look messy, right, to me. But, I mean, when you really, really think about it, like I said, as that painting, as they got close up to that painting, this particular painting, whatever, Was not lagging and bugging out again. I started to get like a different perspective on it. You know what I mean? This is like freaking crazy town. I wonder if we got stuck. Does it is it is it lagging or is it getting stuck for you guys? Cause it feel it looks laggy on my end. I don't know whether it's doing the same thing for me. I mean for you guys. Put down in the comment lag. <laughs> if y'all are getting the same things. Um this here. 
Oh, you said it's lagging now. All right. I'm going to um probably end up. Doing a quick login. Um, I'm going to have to do a quick login. I don't want you guys to miss any of this. And, like, that's stupid. Why are they doing that? I wonder. And you guys definitely are missing it. <laughs> you are definitely missing it, for real. Definitely missing it. All right. Um... I'm going to finish up this lip really quick, which probably seems really laggy to you guys. Mm. Are you guys seeing it now? Oh, it looks like I'm moving now. Am I moving? Okay. I seem like I'm moving now. <laughs> like, what is going on? Anyway. Yeah, as I was thinking about, like, the prospect of, like, impressionistic art or whatever, I was like, hmm. But as the camera zoomed into this particular painting, it looked like a mess, a mess that he had drug out of the garbage can. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. It's a mess he had drug out of the garbage can, for lack of a better word, right? And I was like, uh-uh, why does it look like that, right? And then, but then as he started, as the camera started to pan out, as it started to pan out of this particular scene, I was like, holy cannoli, what the hell? I was like, wow. I was like, that looks so great. I love that. That's what I was like thinking in my head. How freaking great it actually freaking looks. That's what I was thinking, right? Um... And I, I just, I was blown away, you know what I mean? I was blown away by the whole situation. And it rapidly kind of changed my mind on how I feel about Impressionistic art today. So now I'm like, hmm, I love that. It looks super messy up, you know, up close, but... When you actually pan out, it's so interesting. It has so many different kind of like moving parts and so many different things that kind of go with it. You know what I mean? So many different things. So many. So I. I mean, I say that to say this, like, don't be like. Oh, this needs to be one particular way, da 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 da. If it's not that way, it doesn't look good, type of thing. Basically, don't be me. <laughs> don't be me. But, I mean, Happy New Year, you guys. I missed you. I missed all of y'all. Um, I'm always thinking of you guys, for real. Always thinking of you guys. Uh... 
So I think this is going to be really, really cute. I really do. <clears throat> I want to know, what have you guys been up to? How's everybody's year been going so far? Have you been feeling okay? Have you been zooming all right? What sort of projects have you guys been working on? Ooh, stuck my hand right in that. Okay, that makes sense. I love that for me. Stuck my hand right in that. So I like how that looks, at least in the camera, it looks good, right? Like that. It looks great. I like this one, too. Using your fingers a lot is good. I'm about to say, I thought I had a giant piece of hair stuck on my camera. I'm like, what the hell? Ooh, that looks good. We love that. Looks so good. Okay. Things went flying across the floor. This is another good reason why you should have an underpainting because the underpainting can kind of fill in for those spots. Like if you're doing like a um imp impressionistic type of painting, it can definitely fill in for those spots. Uh, I'm going to make his upper lip darker, as most upper lips are, especially on African-American people. I'm making that lip darker. As it should. And I we need to dry this because it's getting really. And I'm going to add a little bit of this dark color in just to mimic a beard. Get your beard. I'm going to mimic it. And yay. Fighting. Love that. Yeah. We love that for you, honey. All right, let's dry it because it needs to dry. Spray your palettes if your um paint is drying up. It will dry up even though it's in this palette as long as the cover is not on it. The magic happens once you put the cover on it, okay? My loves. Look at that. It looks so cute. Yo, this is like the first time. You ever like, I mean, you you guys that are artists, you know the feeling you get when you're like in the zone, when you know like you have a good painting or a decent painting. Or maybe not even, it, it don't even have to be good to like the masses. But it's like you're so happy that, you know, you love the painting yourself type of thing. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to explain it, okay?
Um, said I always benefit from underpainting. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You do benefit a lot from an underpainting. Then it's, it just minimizes your work, and then you like not wrestling around with the thing. And I love this color. I never use this is the first time for everything on the channel, you guys. Just in general, me doing art this is the first time for everything. I would have never attempted to do any sort of impressionistic painting because, like I said, I'm always like, you know, freaking out. Like, I would, like, old me, I would want to blend all of this. Like, no, this looks crazy. But I'm loving it. All right, let's try. I have some wipes, y'all. All right, and we're back. Seems like everything is dry. I had some wipes, and I don't know what happened to them. What happened to them? Who knows? The kids. The kids is my is always my. That's who I blame for everything. <laughs> like what happened to your life, sis? I don't know. The kids. They did it. They did it to me. That's what happened to them. Why you can't find your sanity? I don't know. The kids took it. How about that? How about that? Meet me outside, right? <laughs> like, how about that? Meet me outside. I don't know why I always be saying that. <clears throat> Ever since I heard that, uh, that Dr. Phil show, that little girl was like, Oh no, meet me outside. I always be saying it. <laughs> meet me outside. This is a gray Posca pen, so I'm just adding a little something, something. But this project is so fun, you guys. Like, oh my god. All right, and then we're going to do the outline. The outline is going to give it dimension where you can actually see where the glasses begin. And everything else ends. And again, this is acrylic paint. So, I mean, if you ever get to a point where there's something you don't like or you're not enjoying. You can always go back in and touch it up and do other things. You feel what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? All right, and I'm gonna take that same gray, uh, gray paint. I was about to say green. Look, my my paint is drying up on me already. It's doing a whole nother thing. Like, even this combination of color is very pretty. Like, the red as it goes into the yellow, and then, like, whatever. I mean, this is green. Green, yellow, and then red. Mm. All right, we're going to put this in his eye. Like you do. Y'all know what I always tell y'all. Well, that's still the same. The same rule still applies to the eyes because they're not white. I tell y'all that all the time. I know y'all tired of me telling y'all that, but it is what it is. Y'all need to know. Because I didn't know. You know, when I first started um painting, everything going to be white. <laughs> everything going to be white. Okay? Sometimes you get like, happy with the white colors. It 
And then that way you get like a hint of gray, da 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 da, blah blah blah, blah you know? Then let in. Add that same gray, just put it over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna add a little bit of this burnt umber. I'm gonna put it right up under here. Just to accentuate underneath his nose. I mean, we're going to come in and do the outline anyway, so, I mean, yeah. So. And, uh, and then that bottom lip, I'm going to make that lighter. So it's going to be similar to, um, like, some of his face. I was about to say the rest of his face, but not all of his face is like that. That's just like a yellow ochre. The, uh... Yay. Oh, it's soiting. Oh, wait. Okay, let's do his um nail. Um, I'm trying to figure out what color I should make it. Let's just make it like this color. Not that he has on nail polish or anything, but... Just to differentiate it between all the other colors, it's kind of like there, you know what I mean? There you go. There you go. And you know what? I was researching and I was trying to figure out what was the significance of this ring. Because he wore this ring quite a bit, right? Before he was assassinated. He wore this ring quite a bit. So I was trying to figure out what is the significance of that ring. But time ran out, it got away from me, and I didn't have time to do it, but, yeah. Trying to figure out, what was the significance of that ring? If you guys figure it out, tell me, because I want to know. Because it had, like, a little cat on it. It looked like it got a cat on it. I don't know what the significance of that ring for. Now, mind you, I know now that they teach a lot of black history, but when I was going to school in the 90s, like back in my day, <laughs> when I was going to school in the 90s, okay, um, why does this nail look like that? Oh, I like that. I'm gonna go with it. I'm not um one of, of all the things that I hate painting, and that's hands. I rarely add them into my portraits. <laughs> hands are my nemesis. Okay. Hmm. You think they wouldn't be, but they are. Hmm. There you go. Anywho, like I was saying, I'm just adding a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest. To his uh, hand. Anyway, like I was saying, when I was going to school... They did not teach you black history. Black history was not a thing that they really taught you. And I think at that time, they were still doing the national anthem in school. So you had to stand up and do the thing, 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 blah, 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 right? And they never taught you that. I mean, I don't know. I guess every school is different. But I'm coming from New York. In New York, they wasn't teaching that. 
Um, none of the schools was teaching stuff like that. So the only time how I found out about Black history is through books and um, like my family teaching me about it and stuff like that. That's how I learned about it. That's how you would learn about it. But quite unfortunate. Ooh, she looking good. He looking good. What y'all think, y'all? What y'all think? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thanks, babe. I appreciate you. Yeah. But you didn't really learn about that like that. Matter of fact, now that I think about it, when I was going to school, they were still teaching you that Christopher Columbus um discovered America. <laughs> That's how crazy that was. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking he discovered America and you know. Which is crazy because my grandmother, my great great grandmother, I was I'm also been doing a lot of like ancestry, looking up my ancestors and stuff like that, which funny enough only goes back. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know this story or whatever. But all right, let's do his um his jacket or whatever. But if you know my um if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know some of the story. Uh, but I've been looking up. Being really curious, like, about my ancestors and where we came from. You know, as I start to lose people as I get older, I start to get more and more kind of sentimental about things, trying to figure out where we came from, da-da-da-da, blah-blah-blah, right? Blah-blah-blah. And, um, oh, I didn't even realize that that was, never mind, never mind. Um, so I've been looking up all of these different things, trying to figure out like where who we are and all of that. And as I was looking, you know, my great great grandmother, she was like half Native American. I don't know what tribe she was from. Don't even ask me. All I know is she had very long, like braids down her back. You know how like, like. If you ever meet a regular, like, indigenous person, and it's, like, a significant reason why they keep their hair long. And for her, she kept her hair the same way. She have these long, silky braids that would go down her back, and she would tie them up with all the things, the traditional whatever. But she was darker than me, and I never understood what she was. <laughs> I used to always ask my grandmother... I'm like, what, what, what is she? Why does she look like that? I don't understand what's going on. Like, my little brain was confused. I was like, because she looks like, you know, a Native American. But she, is she really a Native American? Because uh, she, she don't have the same skin tone as them. Why does she look like that? Anyway, um, that's, that's kid things, right? The mind of a child. So anyway, fast forward, as I get older, I started to look into more and more kind of look into that. And I want to know who we are and kind of where we came from. And I started to discover like different parts of my family. And yes, exactly. Exactly, kicking up them non facts. 
But that's a lot. That's a lot of how they did. They, you know, it's you know what is what it is, right? It's like indoctrination. It was trying to indoctrinate us for us not to feel no type of way and and basically to speak out type of thing or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah. So I just felt like yo, you know, I really want to see like who I am and what's going on. And, um, but, you know, the age old story is we as black people, most of us don't really know where we came from. I, I like, I want to know you guys answer this, especially if you, if you on the replay or whatever, do you know how far back can you trace your lineage? Like how far back can you go? For me, it stopped at 1922. I can't find anything beyond 1922. After that, I don't I don't know where anything else is. I have no idea after that where my family came from, what anything about them. So I have no idea what the hell is even going on. But anyway, I looked it up. I went, there was an actual, like, there's an actual bureau that was established by Abraham Lincoln, believe it or not, during 1865. And, um, it's called, like, the Freedmen's Bureau. Wait a minute, we have to drive before I tell y'all the story. If y'all interested in my little black history story... <laughs> I mean, it's Black History Month. We might as well have a whole uh, uh, spiritual and get into the story. Look how dirty the water is. Now, at this point, normally, I would tell you guys to change your water, but I'm sitting here filming, so I can't change my water. But at this point, spray your palette, change your water, right? Spray your palette, change your water. Spray your palette, change your water. All right, let's dry. Let's dry it, baby. And I want you guys to answer the question. Think about the question that I just asked you. How far back can most of you trace your lineage, especially if you're black or African American? How far back can you trace your lineage in if you're from America, whatever? You know what I mean? And we're back. Sorry, but that was super loud. And I don't want to read you guys' responses. Um, because I would love to know. I'm like dying to know. Like inquire minds dying to know. Okay, so Black Karma says, I can trace my lineage back to the family that owned our family in Laura, South Carolina. My uncle still carries that last name, Rouse. Oh my god. I I can't even imagine. I'm going to show you guys the comments. I'm like watching it on my phone because you guys know my chat and everything is insane. But um, I can't even 
pull up my chat on the computer. But anyway, um, that's crazy. I can't even imagine even like something like that. Which, oh my God, like I would be crying. I swear to God, I was sitting here crying. Oh, and I don't even, I can't even trace my family back that far beyond 1922. And I was sitting here crying, like digging through the stuff, trying to figure out. And my, and my great grandmother had five children and one of them happened to be my grandmother. And, um, I was like, Jesus, Lord, what in the hell? I want to know, like, how did you feel tracing your family back that far? That's a blessing. Did you, like, make a family tree? Because I'm trying to make a family tree. I've already printed out, printed out some records from the Freedmen's Bureau. Um, The whole nine yards. It's just, like, so crazy that they basically erased us, for real. They, like, erased a whole generation of people. To the point where now, like, the new kids, they don't even understand what's going... Like, you know what I mean? I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I was trying to explain it to my eight-year-old. And he's like, what, is, what does that mean? Like, they were slaves? Like, did they... He was like... <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. He was like, he couldn't even grasp that we didn't have the right to, like, do anything. Like, we couldn't... Like, I, like and he was playing his video game at the time. I was like, no, you didn't, you couldn't have no video game. The video games didn't exist anyway, but I was like, you couldn't have no video game. Like, you was in the field picking the cotton, you know, and you, whatever, you working 15, 25 hours a day, whatever, for nothing, and you was owned by another person, blah, blah, blah. He didn't even grasp the concept. And, and I understand it's hard to grasp because we've come so far that it's hard to even grasp that. You know what I mean? I don't even know how to explain it. But anyway, hopefully I'm not getting too deep on you guys. Uh, we, I do want to do the collar, right? And we're going to do another layer on the background just to make it pop, right? Um, I think I want to do an outline around his head too, like a purple. So I was just thinking of different ideas. But um, yeah, I want to know how you felt in that moment, what you really felt about that situation. Um. And then 755 Media says, my dad traced back to the Congos. <gasps> Alex um, Haley was my dad's friend. You could trace yours back to the Congo? Oh, my God. Wow. Y'all want to try to tag me because I'm going to put these up in my stories. I want to see if y'all got, like old documents put it up let me know share it and tag me in it on instagram because i want to see um the congos holy cannoli i can't even imagine can you imagine being new to a country you have no idea what the hell is even going on and that's even if you survived the the travel right um and then um black karma says I didn't do a family tree, but I think um, I need to. It may help me heal. Yes, I'm doing a family tree, you guys. I'm doing a family tree. Of course, I'm. I'll post it. I don't. I'll post the journey as I go through in my stories on Instagram. Sorry. Let's finish up. I'm gonna use this. This is like my favorite um, Costco pen because it's like cream. It's not really white. It was like my favorite Posca pen. Sorry, it was getting laggy. That heat, it always heats up my, um, it always heats my stuff up for some Oh, I need to put his, uh, what's the name? Anyway, um, so this is a cream Posca pen. I'm going to use that. If you don't have a cream Posca pen, you can create this any way you want. Now, if you guys, don't want to draw, you're not familiar with drawing, and you just want to be able to paint this, the traceables coloring pages for the month of February are all going to be put on my Patreon, and the link is below for that. If you guys just want to paint along, and you don't want to have to be bothered with the drawing process, and paint along with me. 
I'm going to put... Sorry if you guys can't really see that that great. Again, if you don't have this pencil, I mean the Posca pen, you can always just put it... Paint it in any color you feel like painting it in. There you go. Alright, so there's one down. I can still see the drawing. I gotta pee, but I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> it be like that, right? When you're painting, you're like, damn, I gotta pee. You're like, not right now. Not now. Yeah, but I can't even imagine. But I'm going to start doing my own. I'm running out of this pen, so. I'm going to start doing my own family tree. So if you guys want to do it with me, you know, maybe we'll do it in a group on Facebook. I'll go live and we can do it. I don't know. I don't know. What would you guys like to do? And we could like do family trees together and talk about like share our story. Cause think about it. Like we live in the best time we could possibly live in on the planet where we can connect and share all of our stories and we can get the word out about the things and the atrocities that have happened to us over the last 500, 600 years. And this is a good time for us to get together and kind of talk about things. You know what I'm saying? Can't describe how it feels. A, a, um, a mixture of emotion. Yeah, I know. Like, I felt like so sad for him, right? Like. I felt like so sad. All right. Pull up, you guys. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back, and better than ever. <laughs> I had to do a, a quick stretch, and good to get stretching when you're sitting for a while, and I had to go to the party. All right, so we went to, the, we did a party break really quick. But yeah, I was trying to figure out how I had got down the rabbit hole of, like, thinking about ancestors and stuff like that. And I think it was because I had, um, I was on, I think a website, not a website, but on um, Ancestry.com. I was on their, uh, their YouTube channel kind of looking at stuff. 
Because I've been wanting to get involved with it, right? I've been wanting to look up, see if I can find further information. That's what I want to know. How did you guys find your information on your ancestors? Because that's how I got down that rabbit hole, just like trying to find information. On my family. That's how I got got down there. And has anybody like tried Ancestry.com and has it worked? Because I'm always weary about that. My mom was like, oh. I tried Ancestry.com back in the 80s. It don't work. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, a lot of things have changed since the 80s, my guy. <laughs> I mean, I didn't call her my guy. I ain't trying to be slapped around. Even though at my big age, she would still deliver a couple of slaps, but still. A lot of things have changed since the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Lots of things. My, let me see. What else we got here? Uh, oh, you know what? This back piece is supposed to be dark. So let's add it. Oh, but that goes in that, but... Gonna put it anyway. But yeah, I would love to know how you guys found out your information. I think it'll be super helpful for me. Ooh, I'm loving this. Who's loving this portrait? Make sure you hit the like button. And tell me you be loving the portrait. Oh, you said, um, okay, so 755 Media said, I did my tree on ancestry, on ancestry. It was cool, but be warned, things can happen when you open that box. Big facts. Put in as much info as you can and take the DNA um, links. Links will start pouring in. Wow. That is... Deep. That's deep. That's deep, you guys. I'm kind of scared, though. I'm really scared. I am scared, you know, because I'm like, you know, there's so much, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's so much, um, Look, we did our first pop art portrait on the channel. Ew. <laughs> anyway, there's so much to my family. Like, my family, I think they're originally from North Carolina, which, you know, most uh, ancestors of our ancestors are from the South anyway. Like, so you already know what it is. Like, North Carolina, I think some of the biggest plantations they had was North Carolina, South Carolina. Um, that big creepy plantation, Louisiana, with the weird trees that leap down in the middle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some weird ass trees. Uh, that was a big plantation. So Louisiana is big for the slavery thing. Virginia. So anyway, most of the southern states, right? So, but... But my family did go to New York. Like, my grandmother settled in New York, right? That's why I have a New York accent. I'm a New Yorker. Other than that, if she would have stayed in North Carolina, I would be a country girl. You know what I mean? I would be a country gal. Oh, shit. What part of... uh? <laughs> Uh, what part of North Carolina? I'm from coastal North Carolina. I took the live and the confirmation that 
I need to continue learning who I am. Yeah, yeah, please do. This, again, you know, Black History Month, not just a time to, like, talk about the answers, but it's a time for us to connect, love on each other, you know, as a people, da 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 whatever, whatever. And even though on my channel, I am welcoming, and I love everybody. Everybody is always welcome on my channel. But... Black History Month, I want to talk about us. I want to talk. I want to, like, get, you know what I mean? Love on each other, da-da-da-da, whatever, whatever. Um, Let me finish a little bit of this hand. Oh, my grand, most of my family is from a little town called Burgall. It's, like, weird. The little town called Burgall in North Carolina. That's where most of my, I found most of my ancestors at. So it probably was a big plantation down there somewhere. Um, you know what I'm saying? A big plantation down there somewhere, obviously. Okay, I did not put his ring in there. I just thought about that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are you guys? All right, I'm gonna put his ring in there. I don't remember what color that ring is. Let me see. Let me look on there. Um, it's like a gold ring because you know they didn't wear too much silver back then. But yeah, it's a little town called Burgall, and it's very, very little. As a matter of fact, it's like I almost on the border of South Carolina. And my great great grandma was born like in a little shack in the backwoods. I used to hate going to down south. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> my grandmother is from North Carolina but lives in New York City. She returned to North Carolina when she retired. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Khadija, how are you? What's your grandmother's last name? My grand my well, my grandmother's last name is Johnson, but she is she's deceased now, and that was her married name. Um so our family name back then was Woods. That's the the furthest I can go back is Woods. That's not my name, but it's it's the family name from back then that was Woods. Viola Woods. It's an old school. Mammy named Viola Woods. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it was crazy, y'all. Crazy. Let me put this ring in really quick. Hold on. We don't gotta be specific, though. Hold on. Wait a minute. Um, uh, I don't know what color to make his tie. What color should we make his tie? Make sure I'm not putting my hand in no paint. Uh, I'm going to outline him. I don't think I like that. I think that's too dark. It just extenuates his hair. Hmm. It just extenuates your hair, my love. I don't like that. So we're gonna do maybe we can do this color, huh? Yeah, it was a little town in North Carolina. And my grandmother when she was alive, she used to take us down there every summer. And my great great grandmother lived right next door. She was very old. My grandmother lived a very long my great great grandmother lived a very long time. She lived like 90 years or something so she was really old by the time i was little and i just remember her long hair and i used to you know because she's had the native american in her or whatever and i remember that hair and that hair used to fascinate me and i'd be like i mean because i had long hair as a child too though but Nothing like her. I was like, oh my God, where did all this hair come from? 
I was jealous for real, like low key jealous. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but anyway, um, and we would go, and she would put me in this little tub in the middle of because they had a, they still had an outhouse. She would put me in the little tub in the middle of the the whatever, and then she would put she would give me a bath, and I'm like nine, eight years old, whatever I was, and she'd be out there giving me a bath. Showing everybody my freaking um kook, my kook and tittle bitties, my little tittle bitties. She would show everybody everything. And I'd be like, Grandma, what the hell? What is going on here? Why are you doing this to me? Are you trying to? I'm like, what sort of backwater stuff is going on here? Are you trying to kill me? I was like, I cannot wait to go home to, <laughs> to go back to New York. I was like, I need a hot dog. What is this? I was like, they're trying to bathe me in the bathtub. I used to call my mother. I'd be like, they're trying to bathe me in the bathtub outside. They're trying to make me go to the outhouse. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I was like, we don't do that. It was crazy. <laughs> Absolute insanity. And then we would go into the ditch. I, I remember I caught poison ivy one year. I was like, Grandma, I ain't going back to, <laughs> back to North Carolina with you. She was like, Gucci, I'm start your shit. I was like, okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Virgo is small. That's right, it is small. You should be able to um check their census records to get started. Ooh, you're right. You're right. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. My grandma, yeah. Like, I remember those stories. And then, like, if you get in trouble, you know, they're going to take the switch off the tree. She used to take the switch off the tree and everything. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? You can't, you can't beat me. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to call my mother. You can't beat me. What are you doing to me? Like, uh-uh. She's like, I'm going to beat you. I'm like, no, you're not beating me. All right, so we're going to do this blue outline that I love. Look at that, you guys. Woo! Sexy, sexy, okay? I love that for us. All right, we're going to let that marinate and do what it do. And then we're going to make... Somebody said make the tie red. So we're going to make the tie red. Uh, If I can find some red. If not, I'm going to have to... Um, Do I have red? I don't know. I had red. I had red in a Posca pen. I'm going to have to go get it. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. But yeah, they had some good food though. Like she used to take us. There was this little, I don't know, for those of you that are from North Carolina, there was this little like shop down there and it was called Scats. You talking about some bomb sausage egg biscuit? Man, I ain't never had no biscuit that tastes like that. I'm looking for red, y'all. Looking for red. You know what? I gotta um darken this side really quick. Nice. I can see um Malcolm taking shape before my eyes. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys. All right, found some red. All right, here we go. My favorite red in the whole wide world. I found some red. Dotty dotty, we like to party. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. That really, that really warmed my heart, you guys, that we talked about that. 
That really made me happy. All right, I'm going to take this straight out of the tube. I'm not going to. Now, this is what you guys wanted. So, we're doing red. We're doing a red toy. Uh, let me turn this up a little bit because it's getting dark. Um, you guys could actually. Hmm. Yes, we love that, don't we? That's a good um hold on, I gotta put some red um what's the name in it, y'all? I'm gonna have to put some some white in it because red is like so transparent, so we're gonna put some white in it. That's the best way to make something not look transparent. Let's to add. I thought he had the, like them skinny ties back then. Alrighty then. Woo. Looks so good. Uh, huh. Let me. And let's put. Little cat in there, on a cat in a hat. I don't know what this ring says or what it signifies, but cat in a hat. Did they have sororities back now? I'm talking about sorority. What's the other one for the men? <laughs> I said sorority. Did they have a sorority back then? No. <laughs> oh man, I can't. Wait, did you have a sorority? Wait, no, dummy. All right. I need to darken up the side of his head really quickly. Let's take some of that red, take some of this one. Just mix some whatever colors come to your mind. Because this side needs to be in shadow. Mm. Mm. All right, let's do the background really quick. You got to do another layer for the background. This time I'm going to add white to it because I need it to be a little more opaque. It's a little too, too watery, too um, see-through, I mean. Ooh, 
I missed a lot. Oh, I thought I had missed the comment. All right, so we're gonna do. Of course, it's gonna turn like this crazy ass color, but that's fine. We're just gonna go back on top. Never get like feel some type of way about things not turning out the way you want to when it comes to like acrylic portraits because. Um, they rarely freaking do. <laughs> they rarely freaking do. I'm just putting another person in. Just to get the streaks out of it, you know? You gotta put another layer. Just to get the streaks out of it. And that's going to bring our man to life. And then I need to put a... Liquitex Basics came out with some new colors, too. So I think this is like one of their new colors they came out with. Because I don't remember this color ever being in their collection, for real. Like a piece of hair in there. What the hell? Like a piece of hair in there. And again, if you're doing this on your own, like you don't have to. Sorry, I keep hitting my mic. Damn long as uh, whatever. Uh, if you're doing this on your own, you don't have to do all of this, but I like to make sure that I have enough layers and everything looks good and stuff like that. And look at that. Oh my God. It's like so beautiful. So you can add more colors. You can really get expressive with this sort of portrait, you know? And I mean, if you do this at home, you can do it a lot quicker than I'm doing it because you don't have to stop to record or do any of that. You could probably do something like this in two hours max, right? If you really kind of like whatever. Do a bunch of these. Sell these bad boys at the market. Like, what's popping? You know? One thing I did miss um, about my grandma is, um, all right, hold up, let's dry, let's dry really quick before I start yapping and then we get thrown on track. Start yapping, baby. All right, let's dry it really, really quickly. Now, if you're doing this on watercolor or gouache, you definitely want to make sure that you change out your water in between because if you try to do this with dirty water and, and you're using gouache, it's going to be so muddy and nasty. All right, let's dry.
Alrighty then. Now, the fun thing about this is that if you guys really love this, I will be coming out with my first ever class slash course on pop art where I show you the whole process from beginning to end. So super exciting. That should be dropping at the end of this month. And I'm going to actually look out for the on the community tab because I'm going to actually be putting out there the schedule for the rest of the month. When I'm going live, da 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 da, blah blah blah, right? So I should, we'll be going live again on Friday. But I want to know when's a good time for you guys. Two o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock, da 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 da. And then we're gonna have our regularly scheduled sketchbook Sundays, where you guys can like vote on the poll on what you want us to do for sketchbook Sunday. We don't necessarily have to do a portrait like this. But yeah, if you guys loving this, make sure you hit that like button and share it and all the things. Because I don't know about you guys, but I am loving it. Okay, we're going to do one last thing. If I can get my life together. Mm. Ooh, I bought a new Posca. I mean, not Posca. Good Lord, I got Posca on the brain. I bought a new Micron pen yesterday. When I went to the art store after ages of not being able to go to, to the art store. So I'm going to use my Posca pen because I can't find my other pen that I normally use, which is weird. Oh, never mind. It's here. So you can use this. This I have a very thin Posca pen, right? You can see it. Very thin. And then I also have my Micron pen. That's what the Micron look like. But I have this like very thin, right? And I'm gonna use that to kind of outline, put my little outlines in. So the good thing with these is that these are actually archival, meaning they'll last for quite some time and you don't have to be like worried about it or whatever. I'm doing that just to get an outline in. Cause that's the fun thing. I don't know what it is, but like that's the fun thing about art. I mean, about pop art is that you can add all sorts of fun kind of like outlines and stuff like that. Hopefully, you guys are capturing this. I hope you are. And that way we can give more depth to his face. Sorry if you can't fully see it the way you should, but... Oh, you named your, your Malcolm, I mean, <laughs> you named your Malcolm after him. Good Lord. <laughs> you named your son after Malcolm. That's so beautiful. I love that. 
Did anybody see the movie Malcolm? Malcolm X? With Denzel Washington? Did anybody see that movie? I love that movie. I think that was done by Spike Lee. I love any movie done by Spike Lee anyway. Spike Lee is the man. You hear me? Spike Lee is the man. All right, I'm going to switch over to my Posca pen. Shake it up. Shake it up. And... Just do little outlines here and there, but I want to get his hairline. Sorry if you guys cannot see what I'm doing. I'm just outlining this hairline really quickly. You know what? And again, these are just extras. I mean, you don't have to do these, but I think it looks better for me. Like, like the perfectionist in me, that's what I want to do, right? That's what I would love to do. The good thing about the Posca pen is also is they don't fade. It does not fade. So Yeah, but that movie was so great. I'm just adding little bits and pieces. Yeah. I'm going to put a little outline right here. Yeah, but that movie was great. And you really got a taste of kind of who he was. I mean, I don't know if that was really his life, because, you know, they, you know, movie magic, they kind of exaggerate things from movies and stuff like that, but you definitely got a taste of, like, kind of who he was as a person. Hmm. Now I'm just outlining his hands just to make it more pronounced. And even a little bit of a broken line.
All right, I gotta fix this hand really quick. <laughs> like, what is going on with his hand? I gotta fix it. What is happening? I love it. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Of course, I will be posting because I'm I'm pretty much done with it, but I'm going to be posting more. I'll probably do a little fiddling with it and put I will post the finished product, all the the photos of it cuz it's pretty it's pretty much done. It's just adding little things that I feel like I want to add to it, but pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Um, thank you for being patient with me as I go through, you know, the loss in our family and trying to grieve and trying to figure out life as I flow through and all the things. And we're back and better than ever. And cheers to a better year than we had the last year. And I love you guys so much. Yay! I'm glad you'll be here for the next one. So yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to share, like, and love it. And don't forget the traceables are available on Patreon. Yes, yes, indeed. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!